In the previous video, we covered some of the compositing basics using the Axis Timeline effects. Let's pick up from where we left off and track the keyed source over the background. The segment on the second layer has an Axis effect that is performing the key. If you want to track the image to the background, you can do this through the same Axis Timeline effects. Go into the Editor and right in the middle of the controls you will see a button labelled Stabiliser. The Stabiliser is Smoke's 2D Tracker. The options beneath the Stabiliser are set up depending on the task. In this case, the Stabiliser is set to Track and with Rotation and Scale turned off, Smoke will only track position. Go to Frame 1 and ensure you are working with the Layer Transformations. You can click the Stabiliser button to enter into the tool. In the Viewer, click and drag the centre of the tracker boxes to position them over a part of the Gladiator's uniform. If you've never used a tracker before, all you need to know is that the inner box is the region being tracked and the outer box is the zone in which you predict the tracking region will move onto in the coming frames. Pressing the Analyze button will start the track and you will see the track path being created. There are plenty of controls to tweak for more challenging tracks, however in this case the track was straightforward. Press the Return button and you go back to the Axis menus and the tracking data is applied to the surface object. You can see the animation in the X and Y position sliders if you were to scrub the time bar. The graphic has been centered on the tracking point that was used to analyze the background. To reposition the graphic to wherever you want, you need to change from the layer transformations to the offset transformations. You are basically working on another level of animation beneath the tracking data. I'll scale down the image object and reposition it to the screen right of the gladiator's face. Once the positioning is done, you can scrub the time bar to see how the tracking is working with the added position offset. Coming back out of the sequence, you can scrub the result as well as render it to have a final result. The next shot in the sequence is the opposing gladiator. This gladiator raises his sword but there is a slight camera move that I would like to eliminate. You can use the same tracking tools to do stabilization, but in a slightly different way. Select the segment and add an Axis Timeline Effects using the Effects ribbon. In the Editor, you can change the settings beneath the Stabilizer button. Just by changing the pull down menu from Track to Stabilize, we'll apply the tracking data in a slightly different way. Inside the Stabilizer, go to Frame 1 and click on the tracker boxes and position it on a point in the background. Press Analyze and let the software do the work. If you press Return to exit the tracker and scrub the time bar, you can see that the image is stabilized at the chosen point. All that is left to do is reposition the surface object to fit the frame. This means you don't have any black edges. You need to switch from the Layer Transformations to the Offset Transformations again. I'll scale the layer up slightly to fit the frame and you can scrub the time bar to see the effect. Exiting back to the sequence and rendering the result will give you your final output in the context of your edit. In the next video, you will have a look at the keying tools in the Axis Timeline effects and a workflow to pull a great key.